Now it's time for my story. My story deals with a man who used to live in that old dilapidated house behind those trees. We're not supposed to be this close to it because uh, many strange things happen around here. He was a farmer with his family, wife and two children. He was an evil man. Ugly and mean. He'd beat his wife. He'd brutally punish his children. He'd drink at the tavern and fight all the time. He once had a piece of his nose bitten off in a brawl and didn't feel a thing. It was a night like tonight, many, many years ago. Now that I think about it, it was the same night as tonight. The woods, quiet and dark. The farmer, for no apparent reason, went stark, raving mad. He walked into his bedroom with an axe in his hand and chopped his sleeping wife into little pieces. Then with his bloodlust, awakened, he walked down the hall to his son's room and took an axe to him, and he still wasn't finished. He walked across the hall to his daughter's room, and without so much as a word, he chopped her into little pieces too. Then he calmly walked into the tavern, lifted the bloody axe onto the bar, and ordered himself a beer. Well, it wasn't long before the town found out what happened, and when it did, it was all over for the mad farmer or so they thought. Ten men jumped him and dragged him screaming to the nearest tree where they quickly looped a thick rope around his neck and hoisted him high into the air. One of them grabbed the bloody axe and swung it at the farmer's head, leaving a deep bloody gash on the side of his face. They left him there, hanging for dead. Next morning, when they went to cut him down, he was gone. It was then they noticed the bodies of his wife and children were missing, and their bodies have never been found.